in a final bout of street fighting, the old regime was swept away. Two and a half thousand years of Persian monarchy had come to an end, and overnight, Khomeini's revolutionaries took charge of the ministries, the army, and the media. In the mayhem that followed, anyone associated with the old regime was at risk. Dariush Homayun was lucky and was among a handful of former officials who managed to escape from prison. So, در اون مدت که ما اونجا بودیم اون هفته آخر 600 تا سربازی از پادگان رفتن فرار کردن. ولی در مدت تیراندازی بله ما در سلول ها بودیم، نشسته بودیم و بوش به زنگ چه خبر میشه این سربازای نگهبان ما اونهایی که مانده بودن گاهی می اومدن سراغ ما و خبر میدادن بعد خلاص یکشون اومد و گفتش که اینا که زندان حمله کرد به دژبان حمله کردن میگویند که زندانی ها آزادند و بران دژبان 600 زندانی نظامی بودن دیگه و پامافر و افسر و سرباز و اینا اونجا بودن و ما ما هم رفتیم پایین دیگه همه توی هم بودیم و توانستیم بعد از در موج دوم فرار خلاصه ما هم فرار کردیم ما هم بیرون رفتیم Many of the Shah's former ministers who were imprisoned on his orders were summarily executed among them Abbas Hoveyda the former prime minister The United States was one of the first countries to recognize the new Islamic government The Shah was now extremely ill. Obviously my heart is bleeding, this is my whole life. For 37 years I have toiled and sweat and I had tears and to make my country what it was and what it could have been. And look at what it is now. The Shah died in Egypt on the 27th of July 1980 at the age of 60. The former queen, Farah, lives in exile between France and the United States. Ibrahim Yazdi and Hashem Sabahian joined the new provisional government in Iran. Yazdi became the foreign minister, Sabahian the minister of interior. In November 1979, Abbas Abdi joined a group of students who stormed and took over the American embassy in Tehran. The provisional government ordered the students out, but Ayatollah Khomeini gave them his backing. Within weeks, he'd appointed a new, more radical government. Yazdi and Sabahian are now both members of the opposition to the current government of Iran. After the death of the Ayatollah in 1989, Abbas Abdi too became a reformist and has been jailed twice for criticizing the regime. Watching a revolution is like watching a hurricane. It's beautiful, powerful. You don't know what it's going to do. You could have a rainbow at the end of the hurricane or you could have a flood. You don't know. Michael Matrinko and 51 other Americans became hostages for 444 days. The United States cut its diplomatic ties with Iran. It had been blindsided by the speed of events there, but it's unlikely it could have prevented the revolution. Hostility between the two countries is still a reality today, with implications beyond the Middle East. <laughs>